we have to admit that our big play, recognizing Guaido right out of the gate and then moving quickly to implement sanctions, just didn't work. It didn't. But all we did was play all our cards on day one, and it didn't work. And it's just been an embarrassing mistake after mistake since. First, we thought that getting Guaido to declare himself president would be enough to topple the regime. Then we thought putting aid on the border would be enough. Then we tried to sort of construct a kind of coup in April of last year, and it blew up in our face when all the generals that were supposed to break with Maduro decided to stick with him in the end. We undermined Norway's talks last summer, and then this March we released a transition framework that, frankly, is almost a carbon copy of the very one that was in front of the parties last year. And now, after wasting all of this time, um, we are stuck with elections about to happen that, as we have talked about today, Guaido and the opposition refuse to enter. And then we are going to be in a position where we are recognizing someone as the leader of Venezuela who doesn't control the government, who doesn't run the military, and who doesn't even hold office. And we don't do this in other places. 